What is going on my family? Your boy Demetrius is back with another Tekken 8 video. Here we are going to talk about something extremely important when it comes to Tekken 8. And basically it has a lot to do with the other two fighting games as well because it has a lot to do with the sales rate. And basically what I'm talking about is between the top three fighting games, Tekken 8, Mortal Kombat 1, and Street Fighter 6 is clearly showing that Tekken 8 is actually winning the sales rate even though the numbers isn't showing but the evidence and activity is showing that Tekken 8 is right now winning the sales rate because of how fast it's selling and how fast it's growing and right now even though Tekken 8 has been out for a short time Tekken 8 has all the momentum going for it right now when it comes to sales and it doesn't look like it's slowing down anytime soon and here we are going to be discussing the sales rate when it comes to these three fighting games and why Tekken 8 has the edge over these three fighting games as of right now and also too to be quite honest with you the sales rate when it comes to Tekken 8 not only has a lot to do with Tekken 8 but also too Tekken 8 sales rate has a lot to do with what's going on with Mortal Kombat 1 as well and I'm going to get into that later on in the video after I get finished explaining the tweets on the Tekken 8 sales rate and as far as the other sales when it comes to Street Fighter 6 and Mortal Kombat 1 you know a good reason why Street Fighter 6 has been doing so well lately is because Street Fighter 6 has a dedicated fan base dedicated and competitive players and even though Capcom has been doing some questionable shit when it comes to a lot of the activity when it comes to Street Fighter 6 they have given Street Fighter 6 enough extra content to make people stay and to keep people dedicated so Street Fighter 6 is doing well because of that and when it comes to Tekken 8 there is a lot of reasons why Tekken 8 right now is growing at a fast pace and we are going to talk about that right now as you see on the screen this is a tweet uh, coming from Benji sales and he's basically talking about Tekken 8 and we're gonna go over this first tweet that he issued and it's basically talking about Tekken 8 selling fast and selling well and this is what he had to say he said Tekken 8 has sold 2 million copies since launch Bandai Namco says sales are better than expected Tekken 8 is selling faster than Tekken 7 Tekken 7 took around two months to sell 2 million units while Tekken 8 did it under three weeks so basically what he says all of what he says is true now when he says that Tekken 8 is selling faster than Tekken 7 there's a lot of reasons for that uh, the main reason why Tekken 8 is selling faster than Tekken 7 is because of Tekken 7. Tekken 7 sold so well. Tekken 7 basically you know, had everybody playing it from a competitive level, casual level, uh, content creator, Twitch, YouTube, you name it. You know, Tekken 7 was everywhere. That is one of the main reasons why Tekken 7 is selling so well. Tekken 7 basically capped off with like 11 million copies sold. So when Tekken 8 got announced, a lot of players were hyped for it because of the fun that they were having with Tekken 7 and it raised the anticipation. Now, the reason why it took Tekken 7 so slow to get going was because Tekken Tag Tournament 2 was trash. Let's just keep it all the way real. Tekken Tag Tournament 2 did not sell well and after Tekken Tag Tournament 2, people kind of put up that caution wall when it came to Tekken. So the next Tekken game that came out People took a wait and see approach because Tekken Tag Tournament 2 just was not it. You feel what I'm saying? But Tekken 7 ended up being a winner and Tekken 7 ended up being the best Tekken game of the franchise right now. And I don't want people to get the wrong idea when I say that. The reason that I still say that Tekken 7 is the best Tekken game of all time right now is because Tekken 8's tenure has not ended. Tekken 8's tenure has just started. There is still so much that we need to see. When it comes to Tekken 8, DLC characters, everything, Tekken 8 is just getting started. Until Tekken 8, until what, the 5th or 6th year, Tekken 7 still holds that crown. So I don't want people to get the wrong idea when I say that. I just want people to understand Tekken 8 is still in its infancy, it's still getting started. Now, is it a better game than Tekken 7? Yeah, it is. But as far as, you know, historical and all of that, Tekken 7 still holds that crown. But I will say Tekken 8 is looking really, really good. It is exceptionally fun. And there is a lot of things to do in Tekken 8. So I am very confident Tekken 8 is going to put up big numbers regardless. So here is the next tweet that he issued out when it comes to the three fighting games. And basically what it says is it's basically the sales when it comes to the first three months. As we know, Tekken 8 
has not been out the first three months. But there is some significance to this. And basically what he tweets is, he says, Street Fighter 6, 1 million in five days, 2 million around one month, 3 million in around seven months. So seven months that Street Fighter 6 has been out, it has sold 3 million copies, which is great. Mortal Kombat 1, nearly 3 million under two months, 3 million by January 2024. Okay, so uh, in a minute here, I'm going to talk about that when it comes to Mortal Kombat, because like I said, there's some deep shit when it comes to Mortal Kombat 1 and why the sales and why it is with Mortal Kombat 1. And then at the end, you got Tekken, 2 million in under three weeks. So from what it's looking like now, right now, like everything is pretty much a tie right now. And of course, you know, Tekken 8 just released. So so everything is pretty much a tie right now. But there's a flip side to this and basically Tekken 8 like they said is selling faster 2 million in under 3 weeks and right now Tekken 8 is showing no signs of slowing down right now and if you go up to Mortal Kombat 1 where it says 3 million in another 2 months now the problem with Mortal Kombat 1 is those 3 million sales came from people believing that Mortal Kombat 1 was going to be a complete game when it wasn't it was going to have extra content when it didn't, and it was going to have a satisfying story mode, which it did not. And so those three million people bought Mortal Kombat 1 because of that. And a lot of us found out that Mortal Kombat 1 is not what it was supposed to be. Once again, NetherRealm sold us a fucking dream. So when it comes to Mortal Kombat 1, Mortal Kombat 1 is going to grow very slowly. As a matter of fact, you can kind of say at least 1.5 million of those people that purchased Mortal Kombat 1 are playing Tekken right now. You feel what I'm saying? Or they're just not playing Mortal Kombat 1. I'm a guilty motherfucker of it. I purchased Mortal Kombat 1 and I have not played it after the third week. I have not touched Mortal Kombat 1 and I don't have no desire to. I, I really don't. With Mortal Kombat 1, yeah, it's 3 million, but half of that then shifted over to Tekken. Why does this benefit Tekken? Because half of those Mortal Kombat 1 players you know, people got friends. You feel what I'm saying? So the people that are coming over to Tekken from Mortal Kombat 1, they're bringing other people with them. They're bringing content with them when it comes to Tekken. And we're seeing it all over YouTube. You know, Mortal Kombat content creators are now going Tekken. You feel what I'm saying? So that's the deep significance of this. You know, as for Street Fighter, Street Fighter is what it is. You can't really say too much about Street Fighter. Street Fighter is doing well. You know what I'm saying? Street Fighter is holding its own. Street Fighter is going to be fine. Now, I'm not sure what Street Fighter's overall sales record is going to look like when it comes to Street Fighter 6, but Street Fighter 6 is going to be fine. When it comes to Tekken 8 and Mortal Kombat 1, it just seems like people are really putting these fighting games up against each other. I really don't know why they're doing that. It's 2D versus 3D. You really can't do that, but people are doing it. And I would have to say, like I just said, half of that either more than half or less than half of those three million that have purchased mortal kombat one are playing tekken now so you really got to think about this now those players that are coming over to mortal kombat now tekken is sitting at two million tekken may double at the end of next month because of that because those players that are coming over from mortal kombat one to tekken they're getting the news out you feel what I'm saying? People follow people. And that's exactly what's going to happen. And that's the reason why I feel like Tekken is probably going to double from 2 million to 4 million at the end of next month. You feel what I'm saying? I could sit here and say opinion, but it's going to look like it's going to be a fact. And right now, also, too, with Mortal Kombat 1, there's just so much stupid shit going on with Mortal Kombat 1. You know, uh, the whole Peacemaker thing got delayed. I think the Wi-Fi indicator got delayed. Everything, it's just really messed up, you know. I was going to do a video on, you know, the progress of Mortal Kombat 1, the situation, how it's still dwindling. But I'm going to be all the way real with y'all. It's just right now, when it comes to Mortal Kombat 1, it's like making a video on Mortal Kombat 1. That's like beating a dead horse right now. But when it comes to Tekken 8, like I said, Tekken 8 is still going to sell strong. And, you know, I know a lot of people are disappointed about the whole Tekken shop. I don't prefer that Tekken shop either. I wish they hadn't done that, but it is what it is. We just going to have to see what Bandai Namco comes up with when it comes to that. But there's still other stuff going on with Tekken. We're still trying to see if we're going to get a DLC story confirmation. 
if we do that's going to add on to the sales right there that's going to add on to the activity y'all already know my main character eddie gordo is coming back as of right now i still think anna is the second character that's going to come back until that second character is shown i'm still going to say it's going to be anna so it's going to be a lot of shit that's going to happen when it comes to tekken that's going to keep the activity going and it's going to push up the sales and i'm gonna be all the way real with y'all and i'm saying this very reluctantly Sonic Fox is making people pay attention to him when it comes to Tekken 8. Whether it be for positive reasons or negative reasons, when it comes to Tekken 8, people want to see him do something with Zelfina, people want to see him fail or whatever. Sonic Fox is making us pay attention. And that ain't doing nothing but benefiting Tekken 8 because you know why? All of his slurpy fans from the MK community are coming over to watch him. Some are probably even buying the game. You feel what I'm saying? So that's benefiting Tekken 8 right there. And right there, once again, I just gave Sonic Fox some props. Now, how much y'all want to bet I'm going to get some dumbass motherfucker in the comment section still saying, oh, you're, you're a Sonic Fox hater. I bet you that's what's going to happen. I'm going to get a dumbass in the comment section talking about I'm hating on Sonic Fox for the second straight video. I'm giving this dude credit to where credit is due. But like I said, yeah, Tekken 8 is benefiting from Sonic Fox. And like I said, I'm saying that very reluctantly. But I'm the type of motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? I give credit to where credit is due, and I face the facts. That's just some real ass shit right there. You feel what I'm saying? Overall, I just kind of feel like when it comes to this generation as far as the fighting games, Tekken 8 has clearly got it in the bag. The reason why I say that is, if y'all don't remember correctly, Mortal Kombat 11 outsold Tekken 7. But this time, it's just not going to be the case. Like I said, a year or two from now, Tekken 8 is going to run away with it. And then you also got to factor in NetherRealm's stupid two-year formula where they like to support a game for two years and then they throw the game away like a fucking used-ass sock. You feel what I'm saying? So you got to factor that in. About the time two years go by, Mortal Kombat 1 is going to be complete dead garbage. You feel what I'm saying? And Tekken 8 is still going to be running strong. It's probably going to be in its third season. We're going to have a lot of DLC characters out and all of that content still gonna be rolling in so you know that's probably what's gonna happen nether realm is probably gonna quit support for mortal kombat 1 probably at the end of 2025 you feel what i'm saying so and it doesn't look like there's no other fighting game in sight that's gonna challenge it i am waiting on the new fatal fury but we got to keep it real fatal fury just can't hold a candle to tekken not gonna happen and you know we just don't know what's gonna happen with virtual fighters so it looks like this generation it's looked like it's just going to be Tekken and that's it. Like I said, Street Fighter is what it is. Street Fighter is going to be fine. You feel what I'm saying? So Tekken 8 is going to run away with the race this time. And basically when it's selling 2 million under a month, that is some impressive numbers. And I think it's going to double because of what I've just explained. And then once, you know, once DLC characters come out, because a lot of people have already said they're going to wait to buy the game until their character comes out. So if a DLC character comes out that somebody wants to come out, that's going to boost the sales. So Tekken 8 is going to have a lot of sales ahead of it. And like I said, it's going to blow the whole landscape out as far as fighting games. That's just the cold hard facts of it. Tekken 8's activity is the evidence to where it is literally going to run away with the sales race when it comes to fighting games in this generation. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Say what's on y'all mind. We can get a conversation started. Don't hold nothing back. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to your boy for the hottest Tekken 8 action on the internet, period. As I keep on saying, ain't nobody doing it like I'm doing it when it comes to this Tekken shit. And that is facts. I will get back at y'all in the next video. God bless. Stay safe. I am out. Peace.